Hi guys, it's Couponing Stacy here. Um, long time no see. I haven't actually done a Sunday or any sort of CVS haul this week. I need to look at my extra care box to make sure nothing's expiring. But I wanted to come on here because I have been keeping a secret from you guys. I have known something for about a month and a half to two months. It's been a lot of why I have been uploading so inconsistently and it's kind of a big deal. So it's time that I let you guys in on my secret. I got a kitten! Oh my gosh, he is so cute and so fluffy and I love him so much. So I actually found out that we were getting a kitten beginning of September. My husband told me when we were on our road trip that it was something he was thinking about for my birthday slash a Christmas gift um, because I had been literally begging for a cat. I just, I love cats. I've been wanting a kitten really bad. So he did a lot of research because he is actually allergic to cats. So am I, but not as bad as he is. And he stumbled upon ragdolls as being a better for allergies cat. So ragdolls are not technically hypoallergenic. They do not have an undercoat though. So they tend to be better for allergies. If people are allergic to the undercoat, if you're allergic to saliva, um, you might still be allergic to a ragdoll, but for my husband and I, we have not been allergic to him. So his name is Frodo. He is 12 weeks old. We drove to Minnesota over the weekend to pick him up from the breeder. So he is a purebred and I just love him so much. He's very, very fluffy. Right now he only weighs three pounds. He got neutered this week um so he was neutered before we picked him up that was part of the cost of him was the neutering he came with some food and all of that so he's neutered he weighs three pounds but male ragdoll cats can weigh up to 20 pounds they are i believe the second biggest breed of cats so they get very very large we saw the adult ragdolls when we were there they actually stay super cute but Obviously not this tiny, but they're fluffy forever. They're a very fluffy breed of cats. He's currently purring. I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera. Um, so what else about ragdolls? They're known for their dog-like personality. So they like to greet you when you come home. They love attention. They're not like normal cats where they don't love attention. And this little guy's favorite thing to do is to follow me around the house, which I just love. If he doesn't know where you are and he wants attention, he will meow and meow until he finds you and it's adorable. He did have a rough night, so we picked him up on Saturday. He had a rough night Saturday night because I think he missed his mom and he missed his litter mates and it was really sad and he basically cried the whole time and he didn't let us sleep very much that night and yeah, it was rough, huh? But he's doing better now. He's definitely getting better every day, less crying. Um, getting used to my husband and I and we adore him. It was a fantastic choice to get a ragdoll. Recommend this cat to anyone even though I only had him for a couple of days. So yeah there's a lot of prep work with him which is it's just been distracting. It's been all exciting which has made me like less into filming because I'm just so excited to be getting a cat. But he's here now so hopefully I'll get back into a good uploading schedule maybe next week. I kind of just want to love on my cat right now because I'm so happy to have him and he's not going to stay little for very long. They actually grow for the first three years of their life though, so it might take him a while to get to be 20 pounds or around there since... So he's got a ways to go. I'm sure he'll be in videos, he'll probably especially be in haul videos because I know Rachel puts her cats in her videos, so why not have another coupon cat in the world? So yes, again, his name is Frodo. He is 12 weeks old and he is just so fluffy and so snuggly and I love him so much. I just wanted to introduce you guys to my brand new kitten, but I will see you guys later. I'm really hoping to get a matchup video up this week, but we will, we'll see about that. But no matter what, CBS Sunday Hall will be back for sure and yeah, that's everything I have for this video. I hope you guys like meeting Frodo. If you do, please give it a this video a thumbs up. I have a tail in my mouth right now. Also, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that button down below and subscribe so you can see more of this cutie pie and my upcoming videos. We love you so much and we will talk to you later. Bye! Say bye-bye!